picture a time you felt vulnerable. Can you feel your heart speed up, your hands go clammy, and your mind start to race? Perhaps you're in a hospital corridor or an exam hall about to be tested. Now, focus on the building you're in. What if, without your conscious awareness, the design of that space was affecting you? I want to know if the design of buildings changes our emotion, and if so, how we could measure this. To give you some context, there was a transformative moment in the neuroscience community when we discovered that the environment triggered cellular, molecular, and behavioural changes in animals. Altering their housing alone resulted in brain tissue changes, improved performance in learning and memory tasks, and even delayed the onset of brain diseases. We spend 80% of our lives inside buildings, a rate increasing, yet we have no idea how this is affecting our brains. <coughs> I don't think that's good enough. So I set out using techniques from neuroscience to create a way to objectively measure the impact the design of buildings has on our emotion. So how can we do this? Well, imagine standing in a room surrounded by projector screens. This is a form of virtual reality, which we call a cave, enabling us to control your environment. To understand what is happening in your brain, we use a technique called electroencephalography. This is where we place electrodes on your scalp to measure brain waves. We're also monitoring your body through heart rate and sweat response. This reveals if a change to your environment has been detected without your conscious awareness. To understand what your senses are telling your brain, we break down design into simple elements, such as colour, texture, form and scale. We show you one of these elements in isolation to understand how it is processed by your brain. And to ensure this is the result of the design element alone, we control all variables responsible for your body's comfort, the lighting, temperature, humidity and air quality, something which has never been done before. Developing this technique to measure how one element of design affects emotion is the type of applied research we need to understand the invisible impact of buildings, the result of blending neuroscience, engineering and built environment knowledge. While we don't yet have a handbook to evaluate the emotional impact space has, this is the first step in a revolution of designing buildings optimised to have a positive effect on our emotion. Knowledge which can be used by those who design our workplaces, schools and hospitals. Perhaps even a new strategy to tackle rising mental health rates. <laughs> and a way to reduce your anxiety in the hospital or exam hall so you're in the best possible emotional state to make important decisions and feel your best.